Welcome back to RimWorld. We are on Jilp version 5. Because this has really not been going well. Yesterday's episode, one character died of malnutrition after a mental breakdown that had him wandering in circles for hours. And the second guy was kidnapped by a very smug man. Let's dive back into it. So the one thing I would like to address before we start off here is that uh, it's been suggested that the character creation is a little bit still not where it needs to be in regards to this. Uh, oh, being able to load in uh, Jilp Vondel every single time. So instead... What I've done is I've actually fully set the preset to zero. Uh, it's specifically the concern was with his passions, because I didn't realize this, but every single time we were loading in, we had uh, the same passions as the last playthrough. Now, I believe passions have points associated with them before prepared carefully. So when we randomize our dude, we could spend a few of those initial points going for uh, various passions as well. Anyway, let's go for, boom, Hannah, welcome. Uh, we'll go 20% world size because we're barely going to see much of the world anyway. Let's generate. The only reason you probably want to generate a larger world size is for the um, the ship that spawns in the, the friendly AI. Charlton Whitestone is his name. If you wanted to do, a, if you did a very, very small world, obviously that was spawn in not too far away. And in a couple of days you could get there and finish the game. We're not going to do that. My goal was always to build a spaceship, not use the pre-existing spaceship. Because I figure there's a bit more survival to that. Or that's a, that's a bit more of a long-term task than uh, just rushing across the map. Right, so where to start then? I'm still into the whole caves. Oh, you know, this around here is actually really great. Um, the mountains plus road plus river meta. I think that's good. This is by a... This is on a river. It's by a road. It's in some mountains. This seems pretty nice. We've also got something like... Uh, oh, my God. Like, the here would be even more perfect, huh? 30 out of 60 days growing time. I would like a little bit more than that if we can find it. But that's going to be quite a big ask, I think. Um, uh, what else have we got? So, let's just quick click a little bit around the map here so the south of the the better it gets we could go like uh i don't know like somewhere like here that does leave us quite far away from a nearby road so traveling would be a massive pain if we did that we about like here at least that way we're on planes year-round growing that's what i like to hear mountainous is fine we've also got a river that seems like it would be pretty good um i do like year-round growing that alone is is actually convincing me rain rainfall is very very low uh it's also average temperature of of 10 degrees to 32 degrees. Heat waves will be deadly at that point, so we do have to be somewhat careful about that. Okay, get out here. Let's load in Jilp. And let's see. So, like I said, I've reset his uh, I've reset his skills, or I've reset his passions, I should say. So, let's go for completely random Jilp Voosh. Boom. Music lover, bartender. That sounds pretty useful. And let's random his traits as well. Now, the traits, I think, are the really the big one, aren't we? If we get, like, Sanguine or... I don't know. I, I do like the Bloodlust trait as well, especially if we have a lot of raids. But, you know, Sanguine, Optimist, anything like that would be fine. Night Owl, Strong Construction, construction and Sucker. Jump just can't seem to help but get taken advantage of when trading. He'll pay more than he should, but still think that he got a good deal. Okay, Social Minus 2. That's horrible, because obviously we need that to recruit people, but we still have... Um, some stats there. Well, how many points have we got left? 145. Okay, so let's do it then. This actually isn't too much of a bad character. We need construction. So I'm immediately going to go, oh my god, we're almost out already. Just by giving him construction 5. And I also kind of want to round off his, oh, his plants is shit as well. Oh, god damn. Um, let's be honest. Plants is harder to, or easier to train than social is. So I'm going to put points into social. I need to make sure we've got the 5 construction. So that we can build those coolers, just in case we're immediately hit by a, a heat wave. And uh, you might be thinking, what's the chance of that happening? Well, uh, two episodes ago, I was thinking the same thing. The other thing people have asked is, why do I never, never use berries in the early game? Simple answer for that is, when I was testing this mod pack and trying to get the balance right on it, I was trying out berries as a strategy, and I would say, I used it almost every every time, just to see what the numbers were like. Honestly, I'd say about half the time, I don't know if I was getting hugely unlucky or something, around half the time I got food poisoning and immediately that was basically the end of the campaign. Because once he went down with food poisoning or if he even got slightly malnutrition, that was that was it. We were done for. Is that ancient danger? Or is it a building that we could perhaps live in? <gasps> this may be good. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a couple. That's, that would actually work out quite well. It is a building. All right, congratulations. There's your home right there. That's going to save us a little bit of construction time. So I'm going to be careful on this. I'm only going to go up to speed two. Normally I do it a little bit faster, but I'm not probably going to scout the whole map because I personally feel like, oh God, there's already mega spiders. Fantastic. I personally feel like that's what kills a lot of the starting momentum is spending too much time, you know, exploring, not enough time planting crops, that type of thing. We're going to cross the river, even though it's going to slow us down. Ooh, this is quite an open map. This is quite an open map. That could be a problem. If there's... Oh, man. Somewhere close to this mountain. If there was another house, I'd definitely live there. Um, those are fairly well defended on this side, huh? 
I'd like to check out up here as well, just before we call it a day with the map exploring. Oh, God, please be mountains. <gasps> oh, God. Uh, this is a lot more open than I initially thought. It's not too bad. Oh, God. Okay, this is horrible. This is a horrible map. Um, man, that's so open. Uh, let's send that. The north and the south look fairly well covered. Okay, so I guess we'll stick to the middle. Just because that way we see a lot of people coming. Geothermal generator. There's already some agave fruits, you know, berries. We will try that strategy. And a pre-built building, which we're going to live in. And water, more importantly, right there. So that will do. I'll take that. And we're not too far away from the river. So if we want to get uh, water-based power, that's also viable. Right, let's do it then. Um, first things first, I'm going to get... I know I normally don't do this, but first things first, I'm going to get growing zone down. Because this is, uh, I think, way too important. Now, that's a little bit fertile soil there, isn't it? Yeah, rich soil, nice. Okay, so let's try and take advantage of that as much as we can. So build something like, I believe that's covered as well. We'll build that, and then we'll sort of go across here. And then let's put rice in there to start off with. I don't want too much rice, but given that every single time malnutrition has basically been the cause of, of all of my worries, that's probably not a bad plan. Let's also harvest, so we can put a box around nearby plants that say only harvest fully grown, oh, you know what, none of them are. Wow. Okay, that sucks. Um, what if we go for, like, these ones here? Are these okay? Uh, somebody sent me a message, well, really useful, by the way, uh, that we can... I know who it was, I'm just, I'm just not saying your name in case you don't want me to say it in a video, by the way. Um, somebody said that we can harvest plants if they're 60% grown, I believe it was, but we get less of a yield. So I'm still gonna do it, even though these berry bushes aren't fully grown yet. What about this agave fruit? Because that's actually... Oh, yeah, no, that's probably much better and much closer as well. Right, let's harvest all of these then. I know what this is because I've played Fallout. We don't generally get many deserts in the UK. All right, there we go. Let's turn the speed up a little bit. Uh, let's go speed three. I'm not gonna play on speed four if I can afford it. Like I said, that's mostly just for nighttime uh, Jilp Vondel. It was definitely not called Kruppvoosh. No matter how many times I say it this episode, just gotta bear in mind, it's definitely Jilt Vondler, not Kruppvoosh. Right, let's harvest this one as well. Maybe I will just quickly shrink this one down for a little bit. It would be nice to get this crop started, and we'll expand it tomorrow after he's got a little bit more food here. Right, let's go speed forward just while he finishes this job. Now, setting up a schedule probably also wouldn't help. Uh, would help. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt, is what I meant to say. And then I also said help, which is very confusing. Oh, good. There's a cougar. Well, Jump Vondel might be a fan of cougars. We'll have to test it. Hopefully it won't, you know, maul us in our sleep. Like every other thing seems to in this god damn game. Stay away. <laughs> At least we can craft this time so we can make him some, uh, some... Oh, you know what? He's got high melee. I might immediately make him like a wooden club or something. What do you mean minor break risk? Oh, there's a cougar in our house. There's a cougar in our house. Day one. Okay, ravenously hungry. Yep, I know. Let's get you some agave then, my friend. There we go. Good as new. Eight raw food? It's agave fruit. What's wrong with you? It's like aloe vera, right? Oh, it's, it's a relative of aloe vera? I guess that would be kind of horrible. It's just like, a, I imagine, quite leafy and gross in that case. Look, it's better than dying, my dude. I'll have to do some, do some cleaning. Oh, God, I don't know why he's doing cleaning, because I haven't put down a fucking zone. Good Lord. All right, let's put that down very quickly. Our cactus is wood. Um, apparently so, sure. Uh, let's also chop down some trees nearby. I'm going to stay keep them away for a lot longer, to be honest with you. Um, sorry to do this to you, my friend. This might give him a mental break risk, but or a more significant mental break risk, I should say. I'm going to get him a bed before we do absolutely anything else, because I think that is a big contributor to a lot of these problems. I know I need... Thank you. It'd be nice if we could just select it and put the blueprint down, at least. And get himself some more food. There we go. Excellent. Right, okay. This is fine. Since we're down a little bit more, I don't want to go too crazy with it. We, of course, still have water to drink as well. That's still something in easy. Has a thirst bar, I believe. Yeah, thirst bar, bladder bar, hygiene bar. Basically, the Sims at this point. Uh, if all the Sims were horrible, horrible murderers and psychopaths. Can we prioritize working on that? Thank you very much. Let me have a bit more fruit there. Man, these things really aren't very nutritious, huh? You seem to be eating them every five minutes. Oh, he's a night owl. Fucking idiot. I didn't even realize he was a night owl. I took into account the other stuff and yeah, there we go. Night owl strong construction. Oh, I thought that would give him a bonus to construction. No, it's the opposite. It's he's strong construction. Stronger than normal against diseases, pathogens, and toxic fallout. That's awesome. That also explains why um it also explains why we barely had any points to spend on him. This could be a good Jilt Vondel. I have strong hopes of this guy. Maybe we'll actually see a Jilt that lasts longer than one episode, huh? Wouldn't that be <laughs> novel. Right, we need more wood. God damn, these trees don't give much. Um, I am, I guess, harvesting quite small trees. Let's go and harvest that cactus. I mean, it might give us something, huh? Right, let's grab this. Uh, does that count as wood, though? Yeah, apparently it does. Okay. Nice cactus bed. Mm, my favorite. Okay, there we go. Now, we need to set up his schedule, then, I guess, to sleep during the day. And luckily for him, it's going to be daytime very, very soon. Um, let's go. So, what what hours is it a night owl is, is happy to be awake between? 
I know it's not like a decent amount of time though, so we're still gonna get a mood debuff during the day. Um, where the fuck do I find this? <laughs> How many times have I played this game? The, the menus still get me. Um, mood bonus if awake at night. So that's 23, so 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock. So he needs to be asleep between 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock at night. Okay, so 11 till 6. That's a lot of sleeping, my guy. Oh, it's really not, though, is it? That's exactly eight hours. Okay, that's fine. Still luxury. Way more than I get, my guy. And you're on a planet in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so let's also expand out the rice, then. Now that everything else is basically set up and good to go. Nice. Okay. And then we've got Warsus. We don't need to worry about that. I'm just trying to think. Is there any other early game stuff that I want to get done very quickly? I guess a door in his house. Probably wouldn't go amiss. Um, so let's get that one down. Maybe a passive cooler, just in case it gets hot. But I don't think that's necessary. That might be a, I'm only taking things a little too far. What else have we got kicking around here? So we've got an acacia tree. I'm looking for any sort of wood we can grab to build, you know, tables and prevent war crimes. <sighs> There's really nothing around, huh? And this was Savannah, I think, the biome. I've, I've actually never really played on one of these maps before. I'm sure I have, but they look so similar to the sort of regular map. Alright, so we've got a little bit of wood around, but certainly none that's convenient. Right, why is he sad? Is this because it's daytime? Recreation deprived, tired, naked, ate raw food, chilly. Oh, because he's wearing no clothes. Yeah, of course, it is 16 degrees. I keep thinking, you know, it's going to be warm here, but that's not true. Okay, door is done. Roof is good. No, you actually could have finished that roof, you lazy shit. No, get up and finish this roof. My god, are we good? Right, finish that bit, and there should be a little bit more there. Please, finish the roof. Okay, 21 degrees indoors. That's a good temperature. I think we're on the... I think we're on a good path. We've still got some food in storage. We can cut a whole bunch more down here as well. We've got a lot of uh, actual food kicking around. Why don't we just harvest all plants? That's fine. Now, I don't normally do that because obviously he can just end up going on a big old adventure harvesting plants and doing basically nothing else there. But just to get a little bit more while we went for this rice to go, definitely couldn't because now he's completely out of food. So I feel like this is fairly essential. Also, Night Owl at night. His mood is looking pretty good. As far as I'm concerned, this is looking pretty nice. Why does this always happen? Cougar hunting jilp. Remember what I said? Okay, run forever. That's him. Right, run forever. You can get back to the house before this cougar catches up. Oh god, lower the speed. Hide behind the door, and it should piss off. Standing. We're fine now, aren't we? That's all- Yeah, that's it. Uh. <laughs> Please. Please, I can't have another- Run, jilp! <laughs> His little face and his, his little arms running as he's <laughs> trying to escape from a cougar. Shit, go, 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 go. Oh, God, I know Jill's being attacked by a cougar, you fucking game. Get in the house. Please. Parried? How do you parry a cougar? Oh, my God, I think we're safe. My God, my heart was racing then as that cougar was chasing him around the house. That was some real Benny Hill shit. Oh, God, okay, um, quickly... Prioritize tending. Uh, prioritize tending. What, what, what happened? No, do not leave this house. That door is forbidden. Uh, excuse me. That's forbidden. Okay. Prioritize tending to Jill Poosh. Fucking cougar. I said th the second I saw that goddamn cougar and the second I saw it sniff around the house, I said that cougar's going to be a problem. I wonder if Jill Poosh likes cougars. Jill Bundle likes... His name is Jill Poosh from now on. That's canon. No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it in my head eventually. I said, I wonder if he likes cougars because we're going to find out. And then what happened? He got... Bitten in the, what, leg? But, but left leg. Okay, that's fine. Nothing really to worry about there. He's obviously going to be slower for a while. Now he's going to go bed rest. It's night time and we're trapped in our house by a goddamn cougar. Um, right, let's set up actual strict jobs now that we're past the first day. Not going to bother doing this unless we know that we're going to last more than 30 seconds. Now that we've fought our first challenge off there. Right, refueling. Don't think it's necessary. Rearming is definitely not necessary at this stage. Wardening, get out of here. Handling, get out of here. <laughs> no, to handle a cougar. Right, butchering and cooking, that's definitely top tier. Brewing is not. Hunting, I guess, is not going to be until we've got a weapon, at least. Repairing, I'll put that and construction. You know, I'll put that on the second tier. In fact, I'll put it on the third tier. Harvesting and growing is definitely top tier. Mining is second tier. Get rid of this, that is also top tier. Everything else is fine. I could just leave it, but I am, uh, you know, I, li I like to make this job list as, as nice to look at and as easy to understand at first glance as possible. Right, let's quickly get rid of all of this crap. We'll leave hauling and cleaning enabled just in case there's anything we urgently need to haul or clean, which I doubt there will be. Uh, get up. Oh, there is. There's a bedpan. So you guys told me about this, that, that you can just burn it or you can just clean it up. That sewage is very much a luxury for the end game, which is where I went wrong previously. So open that up. Sleeping? What do you mean sleeping? Why is he sleeping? Why is he sleeping? 2023. 20, uh, am I an idiot? Nope. Has he got nothing else to do? Oh, I guess he's got nothing else to do, huh? And he's tired. 
Why not? Okay, fair enough. Um, I would rather him... No, no, he has got stuff to do. Get out there and work. What is he doing? I don't understand why he's sleeping. If anybody knows, feel free to uh, feel free to enlighten me on that one. I think they just automatically sleep if they're below a certain amount of... Yeah, but he's not. Resting. I know, I know resting I understand because obviously he's injured. Oh, maybe they automatically sleep as they rest. I don't know. Anyway, we'll put that down. No, no, no. Go, get back out there. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Keep a goddamn eye on that cougar. I'm only playing on speed 2 now because I've got cougar fears in my life. Okay. Let's get a bit more agave. I'm going to let him get this heal route as well. I feel like that could be very, very useful. Seeing as, you know, the whole cougar thing. Please don't get food poisoning. That would really be just a... That would, that would be the end of this campaign if he gets food poisoning on top of everything else. Recreation star minus 20. What can we even do about that at this stage of the game, realistically? Um, we've got chess table, poker table. I mean, a horseshoe pin. Put it inside his house. Play horseshoes by himself. That's a bit sad. Well, what else can you do, huh? You guys are saying also campfires are very important. Just so we can cook meals and do things very, very quickly. I always forget about that. I very, very rarely play tribal in RimWorld. And that's more or less essentially what we're doing right now. I mean, we have access to tech and everything, but obviously we're starting without those initial starting components or steel or, or any of that stuff. So in terms of the actual starting scenario, it does feel somewhat similar to that in a way. Right, okay. Let's get some more Harvest Botch, because you are an idiot and they are terrible with plants. 2.34 though. Could be a lot worse, I guess. I think that cougar's gone. This is the only problem with having the fog of war. I, I love it. I think it's adding a whole a whole other level of difficulty to this that wouldn't normally exist. And it's really difficult to know, obviously, where things are coming from. Raids as well. It adds a new dimension to the game, which I really, really enjoy. But also, you never know when a cougar's, you know, going to stalk you, come out of the fog and wipe us out here. Right, so what I'm going to do now is quickly cancel all designations. And again, like I said, I don't consider that mod particularly... Uh, Helping out with the difficulty, seeing as I could do all this paused. It's just I'd rather not sit there for four hours. And I don't think you guys would like to sit there for four hours and uh, and watch me gather a bunch of stuff up. Or, or designate a bunch of stuff to be gathered up. Alright, he's going to make himself a, a fire. We're going to do that. There we go. Okay. I think I might get a little warm in his house, but I guess it's better than being too cold, huh? Wandering. You know what? You can have some recreation now, my guy. You, you can have the rest of this day off. So what is it? Nine hour? We'll let him have a couple of hours to uh, just relax and sort of do what he wants now. Which is apparently sleep. That's terrifying. That's absolutely the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I never before has this series more been summed up with a single, with with a single action besides the cougar chasing him in that guy last episode that uh, the kidnapped us. Okay, so keeping an eye on these wild plants is going to be, I think, fairly essential during this early game as well. And when this rice is, I suppose we could start now that we've got some rice down. Start growing some. Uh, what do you think? Maybe start growing some corn. I'm looking at all this rich soil kicking around. This is rich soil. This is just regular soil. Um, it's not much of it, though, is there? Which is kind of a shame. So building it sort of around this area. Maybe extending it down this way. I think that's probably not a bad plan. So let's go growing zone. So sort of like that. And then I guess we'll make it a little more decently shaped. I want to plant a lot of corn. This is definitely what I'm going to spend a lot of the early game doing. Is getting a lot of food future-proof. Because that's something I'm really, really... Seem to be struggling with. Let's put it that way. It's not too warm now, is it? Is he? So, uh, slept in the heat sweaty. For the love of God. Right, just don't... Put the, I mean, I want it for cooking, but also that's kind of a pain in the ass. We could put a vent in, I guess, and just close the vent when it gets cold. That's a good idea. Everything but kitchen sink increases, increases room cleanliness. Is that true if it doesn't have water attached to it? I'm going to assume it doesn't work unless we've actually got, you know, the water pumped into it by the hygiene mod. So we're going to ignore that one for now. If you could just put it in there and increase his room cleanliness, that would be pretty great. Um, right, what do we want then? We want a vent. Or is that a bit of a waste to start off with here? 30 steel for a vent? I don't know. That's basically our temperature dealt with then. Vent it into the outdoors. Then if it's too cold, we put down a... Or we just nail the campfire. It doesn't really solve the issue of... Um, doesn't really solve the issue, obviously, of heat waves and stuff. Anyway, he's got good mining from what I recall this guy. So let's, uh, let's kick things off here. 4.7. As far as I'm concerned, that's good mining. He's already out of food again. Jilp. <laughs> Jilp, you're breaking my heart. Okay, let's go and build ourselves a club. And let's go out and club a cougar if we have to. Right, production, crafting spot. Let's get it down. And then let's go for... Um, oh, also making tribal wear. Actually, there's a lot of reasons to go hunting. Because we could also make him some clothes. Okay, make club. We need 40 wood. So let's quickly just grab whatever we can nearby. Okay, there's a little bit. There's a little bit of wood. I don't want him to go too far out left field. Right, Prioritize cutting this thing down. Let's queue all these up. Let's queue them up. It'll be a lot quicker. So I imagine we're going we're gonna to need the wood in the future anyway. It's only a little bit more. Right. Let's get those hauled urgently and prioritize hauling the wood. It always keeps going over to speed four. I swear to God, I keep changing it back to speed two, but it never never sticks for more than a few seconds, huh? Drinking water. Well, you know what? I have a feeling this might not be the safest water to drink. Bear with me on that one. But a stagnant pond on top of a muddy marsh. 
I, I don't understand how my guy's still going at this stage, but there we go. Okay, not, not signed to crafting. That is reasonable. Okay. Prioritize crafting yourself a club. Even if we get a sudden raid, this is going to help out. It's, it's going to be much better than its fists. It's going to be much better than just using a block of wood, as I've done previously. I have a good feeling about this guy. I really genuinely do. I feel like his stats, his, his permutation of traits as well. I think this could be uh, this could be a good jilt. This could be a good clone of him. All right, and he's going to get some more farming done there. Do you want to get the corn done, or do we want to get a little... No, let's get the steel done first before he goes back to bed and uh, roast during the night. Okay, this is where Speed 4 is going to come in. Super handy. Let's get a couple of these done, otherwise we'll just start working on the farm. Now, we're looking for a yield of 40. That's good. We only need two done, so I'll go ahead and cancel the others for now. There we go. Okay, and we can't cancel that one yet. There we go. He's going to the river to quickly wash himself in it. I kind of prefer him to drink from this one. I'm not really sure whether stagnant ponds are included in the calculation for, like, tainted water or anything like that. I very much doubt it's that complex to determine whether or not it's just a, a body of water. It's a body of water, right? So this vent's going to help out hugely. Temperature is dropping quite nicely. There we go. So now it's going to be adequately warm. If there is any cold, we can just shut the vent. And we've also got campfire, which we can cook with, which is kind of nice. Okay. Um, cook simple meal. Do forever. I think that's a great idea. And maybe if we could also cut some of these down as well. I've only got a decent amount of growth rate. 73% seems good. Right, let's harvest from that one. Um, I guess we could only harvest from the ones that are harvestable, huh? I think we can designate them to be cut down as well, but they'll give next to nothing, from, from what I understand. That's fine. Oh, there's also pin cushion. Uh, pin? Wow. Pin cushion. Pin cushion cactus, or if you want to call them pin cushion. Um, we can, with this one, quickly harvest. We can harvest all plants. Oh my god, there's really... Oh, all the food is up here. I'm feeling the cougar might be up here as well, just based on the, the constant blood stains. You know, there's a little bit over here. It'll always go for the closest one anyway. Relax by his by his campfire. His mood, generally very high. I'm pretty happy about this. Obviously, the extremely low expectations coupled with the initial optimism is part of that. Extremely impressive bedroom. Oh, because you know what? It's all it's all granite tiles, isn't it? Oh, you know what? That's that's good. This this guy, I've got, like I said, a really good feeling about hey, without a table. Well, this campaign is over. What was I thinking? Why have we got so much steel left over? Oh, did he really get 45 from that one? Yes, he would have. All right, he's going to go lie down and watch the clouds, even though he's a night owl. Guess uh, guess he hasn't got a complete aversion to going outside. Um, why can't we harvest these? Do these not designate? That's weird, because there's a lot of them kicking around as well. He's going to cut those down. Okay, uh, my guy, I think you need a little bit of food, so I'm going to ask you if you could stop cloud watching and maybe feed yourself before you starve to death, you strange man. Oh, you can't... You're not getting any food from that. Oh, very weird. Okay, I thought they were always... I thought they were always a crop. I might be wrong. Okay, um, let's also get these berry bushes too. I'm just going to quickly queue up a bunch of jobs. Then he's immediately going to go to bed afterwards, but I wanted to get a good amount of food for tomorrow before things get completely out of hand. Okay, that's 20. So it's always 10 Oh, I thought it was always 10 berries from a bush there, but clearly not. Okay, you could actually carry those home with you though, you lazy shit. Right, um, pick up berries all. Okay, I didn't want you to pick them up. I wanted to haul them. There we go. Nice. Okay. That should give him enough food for a couple of days. 22 agave, 39, uh, 39 berries there, just nondescript berries. 28 degrees in his room still. Shimmy can't just turn off campfires. Shimmy's not a button that's like douse it, but it keeps the fuel in it, but obviously doesn't burn any. I mean, you, that's how campfires work, so that would be kind of nice, but hey. Right, what's he doing now? Oh, it's, t it's time, time to work again, huh? He kept him awake much longer than I expected to. Okay. What do we need to do? Well, he's going to cook some simple meals, which is great. We could immediately, I think, start work on upgrading to an electric stove. It also would stop this whole heat issue that we've got going on here. Seeing as he's apparently got a fairly okay mining yield, let's grab a little bit more steel and get to work on that after he's done cooking himself a meal or two. It's the first meal he's eaten. Some nice warm berries. <laughs> wow, what a great first day, couple of days he's had here. He's sleeping in a very, very warm, luxurious room, chased by a cougar, and now he's gonna... I love everyone's favorite fresh meal, warm berries. 10 out of 10. I guess they'd be, I don't know, dried berries? That seems a little more reasonable. Let's get some more corn planted. I really should have let him do this rather than uh, getting the steel. Because, you know, you can cook meals on the campfire no matter what. If he has to be a little sweaty at night, I'm fine with that. We could also just move it outside, which I guess is, uh, is a fair point. These things, getting them grown as soon as possible would be great. Because corn also has a ridiculous storage life. So we could put it in storage for, you know, days and days and days and have nothing really to worry about there. His shooting stat is terrible. Which is going to be a big cause for concern. Because we're not going to be able to have any armor or any shields for a very, very long time. So making a melee build is not going to be viable. Um, I guess we're going to have to... I don't know. We're going to have to play it clever. Hide behind lots of walls. Lure them over to us. Why was he sad about that? Um, oh, open defecation. We need a latrine. Silly me. Okay. Right. Let's get one of those, dug and put down very quickly. We'll put it in this nice little... Uh, I think it generally latrines are found outside. So we'll try and put it out there. 
Uh, have we got any more trees close that are capable of giving that much wood? Let's go ahead and cancel all designations on the whole harvest thing. Right. Um, oh, and also cancel all plant designations. Right, chop all wood. Okay, we've got a little bit nearby. That's that's fairly okay. Right, so he's going to quickly finish off sowing. Start digging a little latrine. Let's go and get a little bit more wood for this. This is good. I, th I think this is okay. Designated 556. Got to remember to cancel that one, otherwise we're going to be here for a long time. We've got a Bumble Drone Migration. So the thing about Bumble Drones is they're not aggressive to my knowledge unless we actually, you know, fuck with them. So we're not going to we're not going to do that. Shame we can't forbid these or stop them being fueled. That's kind of suck. I'd rather you dig the... Hey, actually build yourself a toilet before you w worry about the campfire. There we go. Okay, he seems fairly... Look, he seems fairly happy about things. He's got his, He's got the, those weird happy emoji eyes. Where apparently they're caving up into his skull. That's always good news. Okay. The house is good. We need a little bit more steel. I might stop him in a second. Just go get some more steel and work on the whole mood. Preventing the mood debuff caused by the... Uh, caused by, obviously, the campfire kicking on and keeping him hot all night. Please... Where's the next raid? We are playing random random, so it could just be... Could be something horrible. Kill a pack of Yorkshire Terriers. Another cougar, maybe. Right, let's get work on this fueled stove. We need to, oh my god, we need four more steel. I'm gonna I'm gonna force him to stay awake so we can get rid of this goddamn campfire. Right, sorry my guy. I know it's time to sleep. It's 10 in the morning. Time for bed. But we'll just wait until we've dealt with this first. Oh, you know what? I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Let's deconstruct this campfire. Get rid of that. We're not gonna need any meals by the time that we've... We're not gonna need to cook any more meals before we've actually got this... Uh, got this uh, steel mined anyway. Right, let's blast up to speed four. So in terms of the melee weapons, I actually don't really know what to do with this one. I guess we make him a steel club. That does seem like a massive waste of steel when we've got a million other things it could do with being built first. You know, like coolers, a freezer, a stove. But on the same vein, it would help him go out and hunt because I'm not confident he's, he's going to be successful at hunting. We do have combat extended. Are uh, you friendly? Bumble drone is friendly. Okay, we're good. Who? Um, I'm not confident that with combat extended, a guy with less than one shooting is going to be, su you know, sufficient for hunting anything besides maybe shooting himself in the foot. Right, let's speed things up a little bit. He's going to have a nice meal without a table. That's that's absolutely absurd. He's, he's once again going back to this freaking pond. Should have built the house around the pond, you know. That might actually have... <gasps> the rice is done. Oh, that's great news. Okay, that's huge. Please, please don't botch it all. Six rice. So it was in 40 days. Let's get that indoors. Um, maybe just build it, start working on a small freezer as that would help out, but obviously we need a lot more wood for that. So many things to do with just one colonist, this does suck a lot. Look, the rice is going to be a while before it rots, so I'm actually going to override that. We're going to finish off getting a little bit more wood. We're going to finish off getting some more compact steel. This is a fueled stove, so if we want to cook any meals, we're going to need some wood to do it with. Alright, let's quickly go up to speed 4, just while he finishes this last block. There we go. I love the speed 4 mod. I know a lot of people don't particularly like it because it's quite distracting. Um, or, you know, it can cause a lot less accuracy with what you want to do in the game. You know, a lot more distractions, that type of thing. But, for even just minor things like that, I think for, uh, spe specifically from my perspective for making videos, I want to pack as much into a video for you guys as I can here. Unfortunately, this series is going to be, have very little editing because it's just constantly got stuff going on. I feel like it would leave people with a lot of questions if I cut out just about anything, because every action, but, okay, okay, just for the early game, I guess that's true. But, especially in the early game, you know, even the slightest action indifference could cause him to, you know, not eat that day and then suddenly he's on a mental breakdown and then apparently being carried off by some random smiley tribesman. Not that that's ever happened. Okay. Consume a simple meal. Field is half sowed of corn, which is pretty nice. Let me get a little bit more, I think, what do you think, harvest or grow first? I normally just keep them both at the same level, but I feel like growing is more important than harvesting. These farms are probably also far too large for one dude. Especially want to move more onto corn, less onto rice. What a strategy I was thinking of, I don't know how effective this would be, so feel free to uh, elucidate me on this one if, you, if you've if you got any experience with this. Having one field of corn, when it's half grown, planting a second field of corn, and then trying to sort of stagger them like that, or when it's a quarter grown, plant a second field of corn, when that one's a quarter grown, planting a third field of corn, and then having a fourth field of corn, when obviously like that. So every quarter of the time, we're going to have a, a corn harvest, and just have a slow, steady income rather than needing one dude to harvest an entire field of corn which is grown at once. I feel like lots of smaller zones like that might be a bit more effective with a smaller colony or one guy as we've got right now. Okay, um, some lights would also not go amiss in here at all. We're getting lots of wood during this early game and there's absolutely none. Maybe just getting power down would, would be great. Maybe just get down a windmill, huh? Um, windmill turbine? Just put it across the farm. Already done my work for me there, huh? Just put it there. Right, so, in fact, that was almost perfect, huh? Given the, given the whole rice field size and the corn field size. So what do you mean for that one? Are we losing a little bit of corn? Um, 100 steel, 2 components. Well, that shouldn't take him much time to get at all, seeing as we've already got 32 just lying around. Okay, Operation Windmill is a go. 
I feel like just getting any sort of power because the wood is so spread out. Like, look, the closest wood tree we've got over here. There are some areas. We did pick a bad area, we'll admit. Oh, God, the, the, the actual fog shows certain secrets that I guess we shouldn't really know yet, but we can actually see the outline of caves and stuff. Similarly with the designate all, we can see certain things that we shouldn't be allowed to know. Okay, that's uh, worth bearing in mind. Sorry, I meant to cancel all with that one. Um, cancel all wood designations. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, look, we can see all the caves. Oh, no. Well, I mean, at least we know that that... Oh, it does connect up to the side of the map. As long as they're full of insects, which will help fend off raiders. In fact, that's probably what happened last episode when we had that raid, but we never actually saw them. And then got another immediate raid. I imagine they got killed by bogs or something going through a cave, because I believe there were caves on that map at that time. Okay, when you're done playing uh, Hoopstone or, or Horseshoes, whatever the hell you're playing, send him off to get some more Plasteel. 5 a.m. and he's, he's up. Oh, sorry, 5 p.m. And he's up and raring to go here. Right, so how much are we going to need? So we're going to get approximately 30 to 40, roughly, per patch. So we're going to need... Man, we could get lucky and get it with only two more, because we've already got 32 there. If we get good yields... We might be okay with this. Again, I'm going to work on this beyond everything else just to start with. Because I think this is very, very important. Then we need two components. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, it's your enemy from the Missile Men. Oh, this is massive. Um, <laughs> It's missive. Uh, let's go for... I guess we could put them in the same room as, as Jilp. Or unless we have them take Jilp's bed. Where did they crash, though? We have no idea where they've crashed. Oh, God. Um, okay, we just get to... I'm going to pan around the map and look for bloodstains. <laughs> I don't know if that's really in the spirit of things. Um, oh, my God. We can also see that hive there for some reason. Dormant not re reproducing. That's great news. Um, uh, there's blood over there, but that was from the cougar earlier. Um, I think it's in part of the map we haven't uncovered yet. Shit. Well, what am I supposed to try and grab a guy when we've only got... Oh, we do have 3.7. I feel like this might be a mistake. Let's, let's go and have a quick look, see if we can't find him. Oh, God, I don't want to go too far, though. Let's go across the river. That's it. Okay, come on, you can find him. I believe in you, Jilp. Can't get around there. Didn't think we could, but just thought it would be worth, worth double-checking. There's a big area down here we haven't uncovered. Come on, come on. Oh, Ancient Danger? Definitely. Mm. Come on, they've got to be here somewhere. Where are they? Uh. <gasps> there they are. Silver. Okay, Crystal Silver. Oh my god, look at this character. Cooking 11. You are necessary. Capture. Grab them. Jilt Bondle. My god, this could be huge for the playthrough. Okay. Prisoner. Recruit. 38% difficulty. Uh, let's not give them the best quality medicine in hindsight, but make sure they are patched up as soon as possible. The only issue with this is... Um, now, if we get enough wood, I was going to say, the only issue with this is we, we, we need to set up a second prison. So if we can get a little bit more wood very, very quickly before they heal, we can just carry them over to another prison, capture them again before they heal up. So let's get them stabilized. Okay, you know what? Don't bother wasting... Oh, I was going to say, but don't bother wasting any more medicine on that. Oh, he's not, which is fine. Okay. Now, let's very quickly... This is huge. I'm not I'm not stopping today's episode. I know we've over but I'm not stopping today's episode until we've got this dealt with. Because next episode is going to be a big one, potentially, for us here. Right. Cut these trees. Sorry to interrupt you while you're on the latrine, but I feel like this is very important. Just need enough wood to build two walls and a door. That's all I'm after. We've already got six. We've got enough wood. That's, that's it. I think that's enough, right? Because what, what? Doors are ten? Twenty-five? <laughs> Twenty-five? My god. How is a wall less... Less resources than a, uh... Than a door. Anyway, okay, um, that's enough. That's, that's actually everything we need. Right, so structure. We want wooden wall. Uh, here, nope, definitely not there. Here and here, and then we want to put down a door in the center. Let's get down to business, my guy. Uh, nope, stop. Cancel. I didn't mean to queue that up. My apologies. Okay, there we go. This could be big. If anybody has any tips for recruitment, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, keeping them in the best mood possible generally helps out a lot. Right, we'll put them in a sleeping spot for now. We will try and keep them in as high moods as possible. Just getting somebody who can cook or work the farms or anything is going to be massive. Can they shoot? I mean, we couldn't really can't see them anymore. Uh, right, so we want to go for prisoners. Quickly transport them into this other room before they heal up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. this is high tier. This is, this is so good for the campaign. All right, let's go build a roof over that as well. Uh, why can't he... Excuse me. I prioritize building roof. There we go. We're going to have to queue a lot of these up. Otherwise, he's going to he's gonna be off cutting down some more trees or whatever. Right. There we go. That should do it. Nice. 
Oh, unroofed one. My god, what did I miss? Right in the center. No, no, no. My guy, come back. Come back. There we go. Now, we do want to let him actually chop down some more trees. I'm absolutely fine with him doing that. Simply because... Make a 10 great danger. Do I risk it? You're going to have to tell me if the risk is worth it, chat. Because I'm, I'm really not a fan of... Uh, I'm really not a fan of maybe busting those open and dying immediately. This is cool. However, we've now got double the load in terms of food. We've got double the load in terms of meals we need to cook, which is massively going to cut down his time. Some components kicking around there. The wind turbine is less than a third of the way complete. A lot to do next episode, but it could be a big one. Just getting electricity in a second person. That's taken us from a... From a 0.5 out of 10 right now. That would take us up to a 3 easy in terms of survivability. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have liked this episode. I think it's been actually a good one for once. You know, with lack of uh, lack of deaths. Maybe maybe you're into that. Maybe you're into watching me slowly die at the age of uh, ripe old age of in my mid-20s of massively high blood pressure. But hey, that's been fantastic. Thank you for watching and a big thank you as well to the patrons for making the series possible in the first place. Those were the guys that voted on Rimworld all those many months ago. So I guess if, if we've culminated in this one, it was definitely worth it. Big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Harik, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspired C, Croesus, Escape, Facuna Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine Tesla, Lorus, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Tom Terry 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolfson, and Zazzy711 for their support of the Insane Team Levels on Patreon. Thank you very much. It is most appreciated. And a big shout as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindberg, Llewellyn Thomas, Arakira, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, Crazy Pat, Don, Don Honey 207, Gabriel Vanders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Nick, Panther Pearl, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Sir Thor the Swede, S Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sedini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle as well. Thank you guys all for supporting the channel. Hope you guys are liking this series. My god, a surviving Jilp. The moons have aligned. The stars have aligned. Do the moons frequently align? There's only one of them. It was a trick question. <laughs>